Hello? Huh? What's up? Yes? Are you still on here being me, huh? You uh, like Wyndham is at this Who the hell is this? She don't get played off for you? Y'all get tired of this? All right, you think it's small. You got to think big. Think big, big. Security! Okay, Ivy, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty because a female just came up here. You know I only do receipts. I love you down, Ivy. Make sure y'all check her out. I live for Ivy. Ivy, you are Brendan Key's host as well. There was another female who just came up here and said that he was sending her, um, asking for more photos and FaceTiming her constantly and sexually harassing her. She's a new host and been here for two months. So I'm going to ask you to the nitty gritty, Ivy. Um, I want you to tell the story of whatever you have to say, but I need receipts. So I need you to- Yeah, no, no, no. I, I love you down. And I'm definitely going to have to get into those receipts because, you know, I haven't fucked with Brandon in over like three years, but I actually, um, I came up here to ask you a question, but I will tell you everything and if you have an email, I can email you everything I emailed to Bego because I emailed them everything. And oh, the last thing, do you? Okay, so let me ask you before you even ask me a question: Do you have any concrete hard evidence of that man? Hell yeah, I got a four minute video of us fucking. But the thing is, I'm not you know Facetime, Facetime. But the thing is, hold on, hold on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. But Ivy, that's not this is not that. What I'm asking you is: This female came up here and said that she was in. We have the messages of him of her telling him. She doesn't want to be in mess, and he's asking her to send photos. Oh, that's what I'm saying. When I said I have a FaceTime of us doing that, that's not because I wanted to do it. I, I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, go ahead. I, uh, the FaceTime video, like I was in a very vulnerable state, and he kept calling me, FaceTime me in the dark, and telling me to send videos and stuff like that. And also, he, um, I would ask him questions about the agency. I would be trying to do business. Um, I would have to catch him literally on the panel because if I'm not showing him my pussy, if I'm not sending him sex videos, he wanted me to send him videos of a uh, hot uh, head, sloppy head. Um, he used to always ask for that. And if I start ignoring him, he would ignore me. So I it literally it emailed Beagle all of my evidence, all of the ignored stuff, but him also texting me eggplants, which is dick, you know, and telling me that he wanted me to send videos. He FaceTimed me when I opened the camera up and he was like, show me them titties, show me that pussy. I will hang up and text him. And I, I'm not in the mood for that, Brandon. I really need to learn how to use this app. That's why I've been so far behind. I don't. I didn't know how to use the app for a whole year because he was not trying to help me. He did not want me to go anywhere. He didn't want me to talk to nobody. He cursed me out when I used to try and reach out to other people. Um, and so I basically the evidence. same thing this female just came up here and said. Yes, and I've been talking about this for two years. Nobody listens to me. Nobody wants to help me. And I literally emailed Beagle, and that's what I wanted to ask you. Is it a way, like, I could probably... Okay, what I want you to do, Ivy, is I want you to write me on Instagram. Okay, first of all, what did Beagle say when you showed them this? They, I, that, that's, I'm going to send you all that, but they told me that, oh, because uh, I was telling them I wanted to get released because I said I, I'm not comfortable in the agency. I have to show my pussy in order to get any type of anything done. And he had, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm going to send you all that. And then, also, he... No, 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 wait, wait. What did Beagle say to you? No, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So, when I told them all that, they said, oh, you have to talk uh, to your agency owner. And I said, well, my agency owner is the fucking pervert that I'm telling you about. And I can't talk to him because he always wants to see my body parts. He always wants to fuck me. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Normally, we have to let you talk to the agency owner, um, send in concrete evidence, and blah, 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 and all this and all that. And when it came to the nitty-gritty, after I said all the evidence, they said, oh, if you can't reach out to your agency owner, just kept saying, reach out. I'm like, I'm telling this nigga a fucking pervert. I'll send you concrete evidence. Y'all still trying to force me to talk to a sexual fucking harasser? Oh, no. Like, so, so yeah. my thing to you is they, the last thing they said is to stop hosting for two months. So I have to lose money. They said to stop hosting for two months and, um, they will release me. But all of the agency owners told me that that they, they didn't have hosts that didn't, you know, not hosted for years and still it's under the agency that they're in. Okay, so I want you to inbox me as well. Y'all yeah, can inbox you right now. Yeah, send me your email or whatever, because it's really it's easier if I do email, because I could just forge you everything. Okay, I'm going to write it. I'm going to type it right here in the comments. Yeah, so, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you drop me, because the, the comment that just came across said, lawsuit, is it a way that I can sue them? Because well, that's fucked up that I got to sit up here and talk to a person that wants to see my ass. Okay. Well, I have to look. Well, first of all, I have to look at the context, because when you, okay, look, at, when you. you look at these types of things, Ivy, um, 
if someone is your boss and you're going to work and your boss is touching you inappropriately and doing all of this, but also threatening or making you feel uncomfortable to the point where you're afraid to go into work, but they're still touching you. And that's still sexual harassment, whether or not you, yeah. engage, whether or not you engage with it or not, whether or not she's showing her titties, like, okay, can you please help me here? I gave you what you want. That's still sexual harassment. Even if somebody is sitting there giving the fucking, um, um, the person who's sexually harassing them what they want. If they're saying, I don't want this, I don't feel like this, I'm not in the mood, stop, I want to talk about whatever, and the person doesn't give them anything, that's still sexual harassment. So y'all yeah. can't sit here and say, oh, she was giving them what they wanted, it's on her, no, you will go to jail. If you go to work and your boss is touching you, feeling on you, doing all of this, and you don't say anything, but you let them do it for a while because they're like, oh, bitch, you won't get, you, you won't get paid or you won't get whatever for whatever. That's still um, sexual harassment. But Ivy, I have to ask you because also there's a thin line between this because then some, thank you, Lola, because then it comes to the consensuality. If there was ever a time, Ivy, now this is different from Aqua because Aqua obviously is not trying to get into that at all. Aqua wants to be left alone. Ivy, I do have to ask you this. Was there ever a time that he asked you to do all of these things and you did it and never had any rebuttal as in, I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to talk about work where you just did it for him. Because if that's the case, okay, you so have nothing. I, I can tell you, you like, nothing. it's a long stretch. It's a long stretch with me and him. When I was in Facebook and I was going through this thing, I had a real, like, I, I, I think I uh, we ended up in Worldstar, me and my ex, when he tried to run me off the expressway. So I ended up needing help and a lot of people pointed Brandon into my direction. That's how me and Brandon came into play, like, to knowing each other. So he inboxed me like, oh my God, I could bring you into keys to the streets. I can help you out. I can see you cash outs. I can help you um, get away from that nigga. Go to the furthest gas station or lights. And um, I'm going to cash out you this money. Get you an Uber home. Blah, blah, blah. So I got the Uber. My phone was about to die. So he had to hurry up to the money. So as soon as I got to the house from the Uber, I ended up charging my phone up. And the first thing I got blew up, blew up, blew up. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. So he ended up FaceTiming me like, yeah, I bet you, uh, you, you know, at first he said, you, did you get the Uber? Did you, um, are you home? And I'm like, yeah. He said, I bet you that nigga there. And I'm like, no, why the fuck would he be here? He just tried to kill me, you know, off the side of the expressway, nigga. He was like, oh, no, like, oh, he not there. Show me, show me. So I, I had to literally go through my house to show him every room that to show him that that nigga wasn't there, even on the front porch and on the back porch. So when I got back in there, I just started laughing. Like, why did I have to show you my house? Like, the nigga's not here. He's like, oh, where your kids at? I'm like, they sleep. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want me to show you my kids, that'd be weird. He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, show, show me that pussy. And that's why I'm like, huh? So I didn't know him then. So that was the very first time. That's where the sex video came in. And that's when I recorded that. So then after that, that's when, you know, I was kicking it, you know, with the keys to the streets for a minute. And then we ended up going to Bigo. So when we came to Bigo, now I need to know what's up with Bigo. He introduced me to Bigo. So I'm like, what's up? What's up? What's up? So now anytime I needed to know anything, he didn't even make me a host until I showed him my titties, showed him my pussy. So I was like, damn, and I'm like, 21 was telling me, Ivy, don't go to bed, and he gives me weird vibes. That's when I had the phone call with 21, and I told her, like, well, you know, it's right about the weird shit, because I'm trying to be a host, and he not even, you know, trying to host with me, like, show me how to be a host, unless I show him my pussy shit. She's like, oh, I knew that was crazy, and guess what, 21, I told her not to say nothing, but 21 went live and told everybody. That's when I was so scared, because I thought he was going to probably, you know, go crazy or whatever, like, it talk crazy to me, but... He told me to make it like it was a storyline. He he was like, he called me like, man, you better tell them motherfuckers it was a storyline. Woo woo. So I'm like, okay, like I don't have no problem with that. Like, are you gonna make me a host then? Like, I'm trying to be a host and I don't know nobody. I'm asking 21 who she going through. She not telling me shit. She played in my face and told everybody my business. So I've been getting played in my face for a whole year on this app about this shit. So when I finally learned everything I need to learn, and I I, I I backed away from Brandon because it's like, nigga, I don't feel comfortable with you because every fucking time I call you about business, you want to see my pussy, and I'm not on it, and I was telling him that, and then that's when he's like, man, that's why I don't fuck with you, and I got all that. He was calling me all type of bitches, talking crazy to me. I told him that I talked to him because one day my money was short, and I told him, I said, dude, I swear, I talked to another agency owner, aka China, and uh, 504, and I asked her questions, and she didn't even know that why I was asking her, but when she told me oh no you posted this you posted that and no oh, no this is that he said bitch you ain't supposed to talk to no other agency owner but me and i could get you in trouble for that and blah 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 i got all that proof too so it's like dude you are treating me like this and like that and people wonder why i don't fuck with him 
You know what I'm saying? Then he telling me, go against Keith. He talk about him, talking about women. And, you know, he used to tell me what to say and shit. And I used to get, I was tired of that shit, man. Well, hold on. Let, gotta... let me just say this. There's a difference. There's a difference between a woman FaceTime or anyone FaceTiming the other party and consensually saying, okay, I'm going to just show you my pussy or vagina. Yeah, I never if did there that. was never any conversations, and what I want you to do is, I do want you to send me everything, but what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for each of those interactions where when you showed him vagina or pussy or whatever, I'm going to be looking for the bridge between where that happened and the conversation right before. If at yeah. any conversation there was ever a point where... Ivy sat there and said, well, let me just show you my titties and my vagina. Just Hell because no, I'm horny. Baby, I can, then I, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen record the whole thing and send it to you, bro. There's no way, no motherfucking how. Because, I because, consent, because you guys have to understand being a predator also sometimes consent, as Tammy said, consent can change in any fucking time. So somebody can sit there and be like, let me just do, because people, manipulators, predators, they do all of this type of shit. Y'all saw Jeffrey Dahmer. You see what these people do. They get you one way. And then sadly, and I love Bego down and I love y'all. And I know y'all watching Bego, but there are agency owners who are doing this and it is not okay because it's a difference between someone who's having an interaction with someone. This is not people making storylines. This is not people taking Taking people's money. This is some of these agency owners sexually harassing their host, making them mm. do stuff in order to get answers or responses. But we are now in the eight. Queen Ivy, I had good news for you. Beagle has changed a lot of their policies and they are much more stricter now with a lot of these okay. things going on. So they're even when it comes, they every week they're giving us a survey for what we want with our feedback and my account manager okay. and people are, and I have some people who are very, very kind and listen to a lot of things and have great conversations. So I'm going to make sure I just need you to send me my send me what, what I need and we're going to go from there. What I want you to do is um do you have a pen with you right now or a paper or anything with hold you? Up, right hold now? Up. Wait, you want me to write down your number or something? No, I'm going to give you my email right now. Okay, I put it put it in my phone. Um hold on, I got my second device. Uh, okay, so I am ready. Um R K A W A N 123 at yahoo.com. R K A W A N. What's the rest? I'm sorry, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. At yahoo.com. All right, at yahoo.com. Damn, you still fuck with Yahoo? What the fuck? Yeah. Right. Well, no, you can't. This is, you guys are talking two different scenarios. We're not saying you can consent. And then say it's the R word after. That's not the conversation we're having here, y'all. Right, I know and, I'm not, and, I'm, and to be honest with you, I'm still not saying the R word. Like I'm not gonna do. She never like gave that. that. What she yeah, gave, I never what she gave, what you, what you, like, what, what, what you gave is the aqua girl who just came up here showed us the messages and showed us him saying, please send, send more photos. Basically what you're saying, this aqua girl who hasn't been hosting is saying that she basically is the prelude. Basically what you went through. And what you had to do to get answers and responses, she basically showed us the same goddamn thing, which is why she hasn't been hosting. She didn't have. And can I pets. tell you something too? And what what I also sent there with my proof that you're going to see with this email, Savage Royalty, who's now kissing his ass again. She literally left and went with uh, Chaser. I don't know if you know who Chaser MBM is, yeah. and uh, she was dealing with Chaser, and uh, you know she ended up going on meeting greets with like you know the church a couple times, and. She ended up uh, leaving the uh, Brandon too and went live. I got the exact live where she was like, Brandon, you call me at FaceTime asking to see my pussy, nigga. Are you going down, nigga, and all of that? But now she's all of a sudden sucking his dick again, like balling, like wanting his balls and everything in her mouth again. And she used to always be in box four when I was in his age, when I was in his uh, family, shaking her ass upside down. And I told her, I said, you cannot... Um, I said you cannot um you know go up here and, and, and try to bash him but but you in the motherfucker box check your ass. I never gave that. I never what the fuck? This nigga tried to spend hundred and ten dollars off my fucking cash out. But yeah, I can't um sister get the fuck off Roblox off my cash out. But yeah, so I told her I said you can't do that. But you know, I got the video though, proof that she was in that situation like that. But now I guess she like it because he gives her dragons and shit. You know what? I don't need to see that live, I don't need to see any of that. What I want to focus okay, on is cool. I want to focus on Getting, oh, okay. I want to focus on giving you the proper resources as well as okay. the other lady who's the proper resources and going and doing what I need to do as well to send that in because sexual harassment is never okay at any degree, especially from an agency owner to a host. Sexual harassment is not okay in the workplace. It's not okay anywhere. Okay. And baby, a manipulation, all of that is just not okay. So I'm going to make sure that I give you the proper resources and also let them know exactly what's going on because this is not okay. Thank you, Ivy. All right, I'm going to send you.
Yo, all right. Thank you for the time. I'm going to send the email right now. And you know, thank you, love. Okay. And you know what's crazy? So many of y'all knew this, but y'all didn't. These these women, like this, the lady, the, the girl, she's brand new to Bigo. And y'all knew this was going on and didn't say. Like nobody reached out and helped her? Hi, Robert. Hi. So let me just say this. I, I real life, real life, Robert, just beat a sexual harassment case. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you one thing. Victims do things under duress. Okay? Especially when you're dealing with somebody like Brandon that's very knowledgeable. He knows how to articulate. He's what's considered a business owner. So he knows how to do things and how to move with things, right? Mm -hmm. So for people coming up here, especially the disciple guy, he needs to stop saying she needs to show proof. The first thing that happened when we went in mediation, it is not the victim's responsibility to show proof of harassment. It is the accused responsibility to show Okay. People getting up in some dumb shit. This is not a criminal case. This is civil. Okay. In a civil case, the victim is the victim. It's no guilty until proven innocent. No, that does not work in a civil case. Robert, I just cleared six figures from a man sexually harassing me who was in power. He was the chief shop steward of my union at work. Okay. Before he. You cut out. Ladies need to stand up. They need to move forward. And all they have to do is come. And after three or more women come forward, it turns into a action lawsuit. Okay? They will seize every goddamn thing Brandon owns in his name. From bank accounts to property to anything. They need to stand up. We need to stop shaming victims of sexual harassment okay this is real life stuff and it really happens and the sad part is they're made to feel that they they don't have proof or you participated or this and that so what if you participated if you did it under duress because like with ivy ivy thought this man was going to make her big on this app okay she she was trying to she's trying to survive she's a single mother this other young lady all she needs to do, they're going to pull a call off. I was actually recording the guy, and I live in a state where you can't record someone because it's a third-party consent state. So they threw all my recordings out. But guess what they did, Robert? They went straight to my call log and my text messages, and it showed where every time he was smart. The guy was smart, just like Brandon. Instead of him responding to my text messages, when I was asking him to stop, guess what he was doing? He was calling my phone. But by them seeing him calling my phone so many times during during a certain period, like five times in two minutes, that he has to explain. Why were you calling her so much after she told you this or after she did this or she was ignoring you from here? D ladies, go and get a civil attorney. And some of these people work pro bono. They work pro bono, meaning you don't have to come out of pocket with anything until you win. Don't do what you do because you participated or because you're... Brandon has been doing this for years since Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you more women are going to come forward and that shit is going to turn into a class action. And Robert, you do know Beagle can be held liable as well because he's considered their employer. He's cutting checks. Once they, no once they notify them, they are supposed to do something about that. So Ivy and Aqua, y'all keep y'all head up. Don't let this go. Ivy, yes, you can civilly sue him. Yes, ma'am. Pursue it. And if you want to inbox me, the only reason why I troll on here is because of my career. But if y'all want to inbox me, I promise you, I will help y'all take Brandon Atkins, Akins, whatever his name. I'll help y'all take that sucker down. Okay, well, inbox me, my love. And I'm going to direct people to you. Okay. So she sent me the, uh, the girl, she sent me the rest of the screenshots. I don't know if the other man who was in here, and I'm reading them right now. The girl who was just up here, who's his host, she sent me the rest of them. 
And I'm looking to see, I literally have from the beginning where she said hello, all the way to where we just got to, okay? Is God Zeus cool? I used to watch him on FB and I'm a fan of his. Brandon said, he's one of my biggest liars and haters. Shake my head. Oh, and she said, oh Lord, I'll just stick to the Facebook videos. Just a second, because I know y'all in the queue. I'm going to read the rest of them. What's going on? You still haven't told me about pay. My bad, I was busy. I did. What the fuck you doing? I stayed. I don't like her, but okay, I'll hush, especially when they hear. She ain't hear that's different, blah, blah, blah. They're just having regular conversation. Regular conversation. He tried to get her to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, so you're not going to support me no more? Release me. Thank you. Aqua, can you come up here for a second? Aqua, can you come up here for a second? I have a question. Wednesday, July. Oh. Oh. No, they was regularly conversing about work. About work, about Bego. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, a non-disclosure. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. There's about maybe 20 messages between them. So, Aqua, right here on Wednesday, July 27th, he said, I'm going to work with Gucci. And you said, so you're not going to support me so no more. And then the next message was Thursday, August 25th, where you said, release me, thank you. What happened in between that time? So, between that time was when, okay, those messages, remember the other set, the other number. Those was him messaging me, being upset about me hanging with other people, giving beans to other people and stuff like that. So, that's where that time in between, if you go to the other thread. I, I sent you that full thread as well in there, I believe. Okay, this is what is this confidentiality agreement? Um, so he sent me an email to sign a non disclosure agreement saying that it was a requirement um on this app for agency leaders to have their hosts do that. But I never signed it. I had a feeling. Yeah. So to to pull up the NDA though, you gotta log in with your email or something and I wasn't doing that. Okay. And even to become his host, he asked for your full name, phone number, address, but I never put none of that in. Wait, your address? Yeah. Full name, address, phone number. You, your address? Yes. My address. It you, asks for your address. You didn't give him your address, did you? No. Hell no. I already had a feeling something told me like, why is it, why is it? I never heard of no app happen to ask for your so address. So she gave me, she, okay, yeah. so she gave me, hold on, Aqua. Aqua gave me all of their messages from start to motherfucking finish. Look, I'm going to show you right here where she started off and said, hey, Thursday, June, look, from beginning to end, it says, hey, and they had all the, she gave me from beginning to end. There is nowhere in any of this where Aqua and him is being sexual. Anywhere, anywhere where she's being sexual. She's asking about Bego. She has a conversation about, they, they talk about something with the panel. She says something about somebody, um, somebody that, well, first of all, host in front of 3,600 people. If your agency owner is asking you for your address, they're not, get away from them. Get far away from them. Secondly, if they're making you sign a non-disclosure agreement, don't go to them either. No, don't go to them either. Get far away from them. They're, they're, that's sketchy and they're scamming you. Um, also, there's nowhere in here that you are being sexual with him. So I'm going to say this. I believe you. Because if there's nowhere in here that you're being sexual with him, somewhere in this, I would see you at least flirting with him, making a move, right. talking about something. Mm -hmm. something. There's nothing in here. She's talking about Bego. She's asking questions. She's talking about a girl she doesn't like on the app. All of that. And this man, there's 10 FaceTime calls. Mm -hmm. And these were all around July, July 5th, July 6th, July 8th. Did you block him? Yes, I did block him. Okay. Um, do you have any conversations about the message? Hey, Patty, do you have any conversations about the messages with the back? So when you guys would do the phone calls, it was just about the background checks, right? About the your background. 
do you, yeah he would and that's he would have never messaged me that stuff. He'd be he was smart, like she said. He was smart. He would always call me with that stuff and be like, "Oh, I want to see your background," and you know, because he knew I told him like I'm not that type of girl. I don't like that. So he was like, I guess I don't know. He was trying to get me to. You know? So, but he never wrote in the messages when he was asking you to send more photos. He never wrote like send me more new. No, he called me. He he called me on the phone and was like, yeah, send me something. I was like, I don't do that. I don't send that type of stuff. Okay. All right. Just um, just make sure you inbox me, okay, love? Okay. Thank you so much. Of course. <sighs> Tammy, come up here. You know, I gotta give her, you know, Auntie Sammy always gives, always gives the ones and twos and threes and fours. Hey, how are you? I, I've just been listening to the conversation. It's like really, you really are right about that. I just joined the H and G recently, and these guys do be looking for sexual favors. So you have to be watching out for that, and especially when it comes to the courts. He know what he doing. It's, what you're doing in the dark is going to come to the light. And those women, a lot of women are not just going to lie on you and just come out the woodwork and say you're doing these unless they have proof. When you go into a judge, because I'm going to law school, when you go to a judge, they're going to want to see black and white. What that he say, she say shit that goes out the door. I want to see proof. I want to see hard evidence. Period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been trying to warn y'all. Well, Petty, I, I, hold up, hold up, Auntie Tam, and hold up, Monica, I got you, I'm gonna let you come up. Petty, I used you as an example, but the reason why there's a difference between yours and this person is you're not in his agency. Petty showed, I'm gonna let Petty come up too. Petty, you can come up as well, because Petty played the recordings of him masturbating while she was on the phone, whatever, blah, 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 with her. And there's plenty of men who do that, but the difference is this is an agency owner who is sexually harassing their host the host is saying is sexually harassing them when they're trying now bego is a business if you're at your job and you're trying to get your job done and your agency owner is telling you to show skin show titties do all this x y and z oh um can y'all give me to my second box i didn't i haven't asked for no fucking gifts because i'm just i'm just so bewildered um i'd be forgetting to ask for gifts during these types of lives but um i just want to be very clear thank you your agency owner should never be doing that with you your agency owner should not be asking you for your address. Your agency owner should not be asking you to show pussy or dick pics. Your agency owner should not be withholding information. Beagle's been sending out, and I showed y'all the new rules. Beagle's been sending out a lot of stuff in terms of they are now not playing with agencies. Thank you. They're not playing with agencies. If you don't even respond to your host or take money from your host, your shit will be frozen. Your shit will be shut down. Your shit will be clipped. Why do you think there's so many people getting agencies? Why do you think there's so many agencies being dissolved? Beagle's clipping the these people off the dead end. Now they know about Brandon. Y'all keep saying the same thing. There ain't nothing gonna happen to him. There ain't nothing gonna happen to him. Y'all ain't think nothing was gonna happen to Tay. Y'all ain't think nothing was gonna happen to these people. A lot of these people don't think that anything's gonna happen to them. But what Beagle does is they build up a case, they look at certain things, honey, and then they get people out of here. Sexual harassment is very, 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 very crucial in these types of scenarios. It doesn't matter what job I'm, I'm gonna let Monica come up and I'm gonna let you, Auntie Tam, come up. So it's defamation of character and slandering name. So Robert, if you if you say one more time that I'm on meth and I'm not, and I take a drug test every week, I will sue you for defamation. Monica, and you're on meth. Because you I, so I do have, I do have proof. I do have proof. I do have. You are a meth head. You're a meth head. You're a meth head. You're a meth head. And I'm recording. And I'm recording this. And I'm recording this. And I'm taking your ass to the court. And you scream and argue with people in homeless places, girl. You argue with people in shelters. You're on crack and meth. You're on meth. You're on meth. You're on meth. There you go, girl. All right? Girl, it's not a lie when we got millions of videos of you on meth, talking about you on meth, shaving your head and arguing with people, girl. Defame, defame that, girl, before I defamate on your motherfucking head, girl, okay? Meth head. Back to the conversation. Hey, Robert. Hey, baby. Hey, as far as Ivy goes, I just wanted to say really quickly, consent can change in the middle of a sex act. 
you can at the, you could get the dick and then say no thank you and he's supposed to stop because that's the way the law is set up so it doesn't matter about that and as far as the ladies are concerned sometimes victims don't come forward for decades but it doesn't make their case any less valid unless it goes beyond any statutes of limitations but there are new laws in place that protect women and protect victims i should say beyond those statutes um i just want to say that it's it's um it's disturbing but it's something that's been happening to a lot of young people on the app and um bigo is responsible for Yes, you know the actions. Beagle, especially you, when Beagle, Ivy I love you, down Beagle. You're responsible. When Ivy Beagle. wrote that email, you. they weren't supposed to send her back to her um, predator or to the abuser. No. They were supposed to up escalate that to the legal department. Yes. You, when something has any possibility of legality, when it comes to corporate, they are supposed to escalate anything that has any chance of going to court to a higher office. It wasn't supposed to be somebody telling her to go back to the person and talk to them. So in, in that regard, um, well, that's, I think that's why I'm stepping in. And I want Ivy to send me that as well, because when she sends me that, I'm also going to yeah. be forwarding that to my people as well saying this because you should not have to you don't go to work get raped get touched get molested get whatever by your boss hey, and then and then and, 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 and then petty, and, and then and, hr say saying, this real quick oh, Robert, listen, tell your really boss quickly about you getting Pat, um even petty not being in his agency does not mean she wasn't sexually harassed because he's in a supervisory position over her level. So when a person is in a higher office over you, they don't have to be in a higher office in your department to sexually harass you. That in no way removes him or absolves him from guilt as far as Petty the Bell is concerned. And even him giving her money does not mean that was just hush money that she took because she was under duress. It does not mean that she still was not victimized. So all of that is untrue. Um, what I'm all I'm saying to ladies is I admire the young lady who came up here because when she felt something wasn't right, she didn't follow through. Too many of you guys are following through, doing a whole bunch. I was just happy that the young lady didn't feel right about it and she didn't do anything. Yes. I'm also happy that Petty the Bell didn't do that shit for free. Bye, y'all. <laughs> yes, I'm happy that the lady I'm the lady did not become a um become in the cycle of what Ivy did. And I'm going to give these ladies the information that they need to go forward and as well let people know when I get off of here. Absolutely. I'm letting that be known. Um, can we get 5K, y'all? We need 5K. I'm letting that be known. But I'm just also doing this to let y'all be aware of this as well. Because one of the things that I have um, with my... Um, my platform is letting it be known so that you guys don't end up running to this agency owner. I mean, they've been flopping anyways. They've been doing horrible. Don't nobody really care. The storylines aren't going anywhere. God damn it, chat. But um, I'm just, fuck you. I'm just doing this as well so that y'all uh, have attention and aware of this just in case. I'm an agency owner. Patty, I think, is an agency owner. Tammy's an agency owner. Tammy, give me a dragon for that promotion. Um, and Patty, give me, give, give me 27K. Um, but... Um, you know, the reality of it is, you know, this stuff has been happening for a very long time and people have not known where to go and how to handle it. Peach is not working, so stop coming out. No, Brenda's not sending them. The storylines aren't storylining. This girl's in the storyline. This girl is in the storyline. That girl's not a storyline. She sent me everything from beginning to end. She's not storylining. There's no reason for... The reason why I say she's not storylining is... And the man who was up here, while I respect him, if she's a nobody, if she's not of any importance and she was looking for clout, she would do what my host did, which is she would go from panel to panel trying to make it, wake it up on whatever. Now, mind you, yes, she did end up going to Chad G about it. She did end up, he took her to Pastor. Pastor is Brandon's op, op, Brandon is Pastor's op. We know they don't like each other or whatever. So that could be seen as clout chasing all that one, two, three, three, four, five, six, whatever. Got it. But that happened during the time. If she had went on to panel, to panel, to panel, to place, to clout chaser, to clout chaser, to person, to person, she randomly was over here and I was talking about Brendan's information that we have that we got 
from um, all of his court cases, including the ones in 2021, as well as neighbors, Social Security, and a, a million or other whatever that they slid across. My because you know the people slid a million things across. They slid everything across the desk. We've got his lawsuits. We got his court cases. The, the, all the the neighbors, like bitch, they said everything. Y'all is evil, bitch. I thought Ashley Shepard was bad. So she came up and she watches me and she said, I am a victim as well. This man was sexually harassing me. It wasn't like she just was looking to go and, and wake shit up and be all this and that. She literally happened to be in the live. Why didn't Pete try to help her while, while she said, well, um, and I'm going to say this in front of 4,100 people. Um, Keith probably was more trying to do it for the content factor and trying to get him in his ass, like Brandon in his ass, rather than actually help her. I'm doing it more actually giving her and Ivy the resources and information and sending the stuff forward. I'm treat Brandon the way I would any of these other hosts and any of these um any of these other agency owners, bitch. When it comes to sexual harassment, bitch, don't I don't play. Just like I don't play with pedophilia, rape, molestation. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. And when I know if you are an agency owner, I mean sorry, if you're a host and your agency owner P treated as an ace card. Well, honey, he can be an ace, but I'm a big joker. Okay. Um, so the reality of it is I don't give a fuck about all that. If you are a host and you're being sexually harassed by your agency owner, Robert, stop. I don't have to stop shit, bitch. I said what the fuck I said. Don't come here with that motherfucking bullshit, bitch, because you will get kicked the fuck out. I said what the fuck I said. I'm the big joker, bitch. Try it if you want to. I don't give a fuck who supports who on either side. Because, I, bitch, I ain't friends with none of you hoes. That's y'all's favorites. You gonna... Oh, did Tay? Baby, why do you sound like you in the hallway? <laughs> Girl, you got furniture? Yeah, I got furniture. Well, what happened? See? Well, what happened with Tay? Okay, with Tay stuff, I sent well, it in. I'm asking, are you going to do the same thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With, oh, I'm sending this. In my, house, in, I, in my townhouse, you can't smoke in here. So I'm in the bathroom smoking in the smoking me a cigarette. Okay. And listen to bingo. Okay. So, bingo. Okay. So when it comes to certain things like this, like, okay, I'll present my stuff on my platform, absolutely. But when it comes to sexual harassment, especially from agency owner to host, absolutely I'm going to send that in. I don't give a fuck who it is. Play with stuff like that. Pedophilia, molestation? Bitch, don't come to me unless you have called the cops. That's what I told y'all. Don't come to me unless you have called the cops. Because y'all be coming to me like, Robert, do something about this. Bitch, you do something about this. One thing is certain, two things for sure. When it comes to Beagle, this should be a safe space for everybody. Agency owners should not be doing that to people, period. 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 Hey, Llama. It don't matter who it is. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And it's not, and it's not only men to women. It's women to men. Because there are females out there who make their male hosts do that. There are men to men. And there are women to women. It's been going on for years, absolutely. But let me tell you something. Thank you, T-Bay, exactly. And it's not about, and T-Bay said a few valuable things. Tim, the background, yeah, making them send their address. Host, I'm an agency owner. Your agency owner should not be asking for your, thank you, Lama, should not be asking for your address. One, two, your agency owner should not be sexually harassing you in any way, shape, or form. Three, if your agency owner holds a penny of your coins and you know that it's a motherfucking whatever, send it to not only Beagle Feedback. Here's a little tip. Are you listening? Go to another agency owner and have them forward it to their boss. My agency owner asked for all that. You don't know. Agency. No, we don't. We don't need addresses. Beagle doesn't even ask you for addresses. Beagle doesn't ask you for addresses. So if your agency owner is asking you for a dress, you need to find out why. And you don't need to give it to them. Let's just sit here and let's take some notes. I want y'all to take notes, okay? The only thing that your agency owner should need is your identification and telephone number, email. There is nowhere in anywhere in Bego that's asking for your address. It's not safe. It's not safe. 
And here's another tip. If your agency owner is asking for your phone number separately from the one you provided, save these new people. Oh, I am. <laughs> Give me that meat. Stop fresh. Fresh, you ain't send me nothing back on um on IG. And I'm saying in front of 5,200 people. I need whole. So you doing all that, send it with the draws off. Your address is an ID. Not necessarily, love. You can be in Arkansas somewhere and your address can be from when you lived in Tennessee. You unsent it. Well, you didn't send anything back. So get on it. I want to motherfucking get in there. Oh, you ain't seen nothing? I got something for you. It's a little heavy. Um, anyways, people on the savvy playing games can't wait for the stupid prizes. Is an NDA really a requirement? No. No. No, no, no. And when you motherfucking send your ID, you can black out the address in your ID. Y'all didn't know that? When your agency owner is asking you for your ID, you can black out the address. There was nowhere on Beagle's guidelines or policies or anywhere that Beagle asked for your address. You don't have to give them that. You're actually supposed to. Beagle actually encourages you to do that. I, when I talk, oh, sorry, I have the string in my hair. When I talk with when I talk with some of the officials, they said you can do that. They can black out that. They just need identification. Yeah. That's what my hosts do. That's what you're supposed to do. I actually encourage my hosts to do that. You're not supposed to have their identification of their action. So how do you sign up to be an official host? Inbox me. Now you're doing videos, so you can just inbox me. Anybody who wants promotion at all, if there's agency owners in here, drop a dragon. I'll let you come up and you can give promotion in front of 5,200 people. But bitch, you need to drop a dragon. That's the deal. And you're lucky it's only a dragon because when I go, when we get to payday, bitch, it's going to be two dragons. Okay? Because we got some shit to talk about. Um, the only thing you need, yes, it's only to, it's only to provide date of birth and location. Exactly. You do not need to do that. But yeah, I was just saying it's only for date of birth and location, and they actually encourage you to. They tell you to black out your address and your uh, customer service number. Yes, exactly. Yes, any promotion. You get. Follow me. I got a thousand dollars for you, bitch. Just a drag in. Um. Yes. First of all, let me just tell y'all something. The reason why Tay got up and out of here, and let me break it down for y'all. The reason why Tay got up and out of here is um liability clause. When you look at something in terms of pedophilia and molestation. Obviously, when you're a bigger broadcaster, if you were caught in a scandal like that, there's a liability, bitch, when they clip you. If they clip you, they're clipping you because you could put the app at risk. It's the same thing for sexual harassment. The reason why this scenario that just came up today with Brandon is more crucial than the storylines and the payment cuts is because if you have direct access to someone showing that their agency owner was sexually harassing them when they were just trying to do business, then that is a different type of liability that could really get the app in trouble. It could get any job in trouble. You could end up on the news. You could end up in the paper, bitch. You could end up on TV, bitch. Robert, know how to, huh? Hey, Robert, how you doing? I'm doing good. What's up? I was actually sitting in the comments trying to debate if I wanted to get up here and let you know. Like two years ago, it was a young lady that was trying to join my agency. And Brandon went in and talked behind me and got her to join his agency when he ended up doing her the same way. But him and Ebony ended up, well, he was harassing her, trying to get her to do sexual stuff, calling her phone all the time. She got a court case going on right now in Las Vegas. She was scared to come on the app or scared to say anything. She was calling me every day, telling me everything that was going on. They went so far as okay, okay, harassing okay, okay. her. Do you, do you have her information still? I got it's in my phone. I got to look at my other phone. She was so scared that she sent her because they came to where she was. Okay, can you give me her? Can you, would you be able to get her in contact with me? I'm gonna look at my other phone and I I send it to you on WhatsApp. Please. Right. She has an ongoing on, on, ongoing case. Tay said he's getting the agency back. I don't give a fuck what Tay says. Tay is fired. Child, we don't give a fuck what he says. And a pedophile and a predator. So we don't care. Hey, Agent Boss, what's going on, love?
Hey guys. Hello. So I I've been uh, confused since I got well I got into a new agency, but my last page um has been like scammed since November. I wonder can you get the payments from the time from November all the way up until to like I think a month ago is when I started hosting again. Do you but think, I've been do you, my love, do you think that I'm a bookkeeper? Do you think that I'm no, no. I I was just asking. Well, uh, like, was it possible for like Bigo hosts to get paid for the people that have scammed them? Well, if you're getting scammed by someone, you have to let Bigo know and show them proof and, and evidence of whatever it is that you're getting scammed. Whether it be hours, time, and you also have to make sure that you're out of region and everything is is correct. So what I would do is I would make sure you get all your notes and go to Beagle first. Now they're doing new rules where if your agency owner isn't responding and you have proof of them not responding while you're trying to get inquiries about things and fix things, then they will contact them. And if they don't fix it in a certain amount of time, they'll freeze the agency, make sure you get paid your money. And if they keep doing it, then they'll eventually, um, they're, uh, they'll freeze it for two, the first time they freeze it for one month, the agency doesn't get paid, but you guys get paid. And then they freeze it for two months in a row and then they clip the agency. So what I would do, this ju these rules just came out like three months ago. So I'm telling you in front of 5,100 people, when these things are going on with y'all this is bigo is now different and they're looking towards these things more than they were before so if that happened to you my love and this is from all way back when i would get everything now and send it in to um and keep your receipts everything is important and go from there yeah. and let them know i sent it in she claimed she was dead well they claim she claimed she was dead on life support so that was another way to keep like it was a lot of people she claimed she was dead on life support and then somebody found her um getting her nails and toes did and then she disappeared she i was with double up um agency or some shit but that's what we did we sent all the receipts in and then <laughs> She dropped us, and then I think she was able to get us in another agency, but she changed the name. Her name was Bri Bianca Smith. She was the double up agency. I, I don't even know what to tell you, my love, at this point. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just, give me, <laughs> just give me a little bit to, to process everything, and I'm going to get back to you. Okay, thank you. All right. I don't even know. On life support, and then they call her getting her nails done. I, I, <sighs> Hello? Robert, can you hear me? Yes. Only thing will be a joke when I pull up on your motherfucking ass in New York, bitch, since you want to talk shit out. Now kick me, bitch. Kick me with your scary motherfucking nappy headed ass. I'm not bitch. Gonna, I'm not going to kick you. Kick me. No. You just, I, kick me, ho. I, I like people trolling me. That's all right. Why you was talking shit with your scary. All right, I'm going to just put you back in the comments, my love. But you got to do a little bit better, my love. I'll be out in the streets, girl. I'll be walking around, girl. I'll be getting stuff to eat. Hey, what's going on? Hello. Yeah, my name is Energetic. I'm currently in the Keys to the Street Agency. I was listening to you earlier. So I went over there, popped the question inside um, Keys um, Live, because he's live with Ed. And I asked him, I said, because I heard him talking about I'm not let, letting nobody go. So I got a couple of questions. If you ask your agency owner, hey, why um, why do people got to feel threatened if they want to leave the agency? His response with about maybe 1.2, 2 thousand people in the, in the live, he comes back and say, I said what I said. I'm not letting you out. Take me to court. Fuck you, you bird ass nigga. Ain't you 44? Now, my thing is this. It's the internet. FBI's watching this. CSI watching this. I'm an ex offender. Yo, I'm 44. Like, you know, you don't talk to no grown man like that. You would never say that in my in my face. I'm not up here to talk tough. I don't want nobody following me. I'm up here to get a couple of ex extra beans. That's it. Little, a little. I ride real low key. But my thing is, I'm over here trying to find out how can I get out of this agency. Because sometimes when I reach out to him, it takes like it, it took him three to four months to pay me back six hundred and thirty something dollars. Three to three to three to four months. And I got the receipts. He paid me through Apple Pay. I, me and him was doing a deal when he was doing the you drop him three dragons, he'll drop you four or five back. So I dropped him like five or six. 
It took them, this was back in April when I made my last quote. Somebody said, you know what? Don't, don't host for three to four months. He'll have to drop you. Come to find out, like you said, Bingo updated the rules. And I guess they must have updated it for the agency. And we all know Brandon got a lot of fucking pull with everybody. Does he? Uh, he got he got pulled with, with everybody. Does he? To my knowledge, because I'm not the only one that want to get out of his agency. It's about maybe 15 of us that I know, and it's and it's like how many y'all want to get out? About, about about 15 of us. And what pull has he done exactly? Now I'm saying when if he can be on his live, if I because I inboxed the brother, he erased the message that I left in his inbox. I inbox him on WhatsApp. He plopped because he just kicked me out of his lot. He said, fuck you. You 44. You crying. I said, my man, I'm not crying. I said, but don't threaten me. When you tell somebody I'm not letting you out, fuck you, my man. I don't know what state he in. I'm in New York, Brooklyn. That's the threat. You're, a, you're with a company. I represent your company. Every time I make a quote, you get paid. That's why I don't do no more PKs. The last PK I did was with Unc Keys. I went against Unc Keys, winner takes all. DW, his admin, set the PK up. I went to Keys three months ago. I said, listen, I ain't get my, I ain't get my um, I ain't get my rebate since April. He said, just put in the application. He gets frustrated when you ask him questions. I paid for the what 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 what, what, what did he start whining about? He said, This is why I pay for the website. Don't ask me no no questions. Everything you're going to ask me, go to the website. His website hasn't been updated. So you can't tell us to go there and things are not updated because the policy rules that's on bingo is not on the website. Now, they might have updated because I think his name is DW. DW is a good guy. Got nothing against DW, but DW is Keys admin. He does the all. He does the auditions. I've been with Keys since February 7th. When I first came on this app last year. And I only made about five calls because I work. I'm a contractor, whatever, 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 whatever have you. But I'm ready on the app. When I do come on the app, I make my quote fast. I don't have a lot of followers. I don't have a lot of viewers. I got a couple of two, three good supporters. We do our thing and boom. But my thing is, I've seen that there's better agencies out there where, you know, it's more beneficial. Mm -hmm. And it's more helpful. There's a, I, I found three of them. None of them are his competitors. None of them are his enemies. But they make a bad. Hold up, hold up. Hey, you listening, scary ass bitch. Just a second, Energy. Right. If you got that crackhead ass bitch over there with her ugly fucking children nodding off, bitch. Both of y'all can kiss my ass. Don't try to trap me in no three versus three versus PK when you won't even do a one-on-one. -on -one. You or your crackhead minion. Both y'all been flopping and flailing. I'm giving all your motherfucking hosts who you've been sexually harassing and other people who you've been whacking off with that little pee wicker motherfucking on FaceTime with the proper information and source, you scary punk ass bitch. So stop motherfucking trying to line me three versus three when you want motherfucking do a one versus one, bitch. And when you walk into my room next time, come into the queue. Now screen record that, punk asses. Y'all want a well, motherfucking double beagle, bitch, but won't motherfucking do a one-on-one -on -one PK. Y'all the most scariest sons of bitches. Y'all should be happy that I'm giving y'all motherfucking viewing, bitch, before I close the casket. Be happy, bitch. I'm bringing you back to life for October, bitch, because you've been on life support in the motherfucking plug bin pool. Go ahead. Right, so my thing. Oh, and I have all your information. We'll be going over that later as well. I don't dox. I'm just going to show all your court cases and the judges. And maybe some more information. Go ahead. You see, you know, like I said, I used to talk to the brother. Never had, I never had a problem with him. But it just seemed like he's always in. His, his name come up. Like, I don't like to be, you know, I'm going to need you to speed it up. What, what would you like me to help you with here? I'm trying to get the hell out of his agency. But I'm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I, I don't <laughs> well, want my. What is your, okay. So you, what reasoning? Okay. But you got paid when you didn't get paid. Sir, okay, so you, you didn't get paid for like five or six months from a deal. You have the receipts from that, but then they eventually paid you. So he eventually paid you because Beagle made those new rules. And if you had went to Beagle and showed him that he had not paid you in five to six months, his ass would have been frozen, which is why you got paid recently. So has there been anything besides that six months um, or that five months where he owed you the 600 or whatever dollars? No, nothing. Okay, no. 
So there's nothing that I would be able to do to help you unless there was any negligent, unless he was ignoring your messages, unless he was going against legal guidelines or rules or policies, or whatever. Sadly, there's nothing <clears throat> there's nothing that I can do. Now, if you were in the scenario where you still didn't get paid and that was going on, um, <clears throat> Brandon going to get put on a shirt soon, and I'm going to laugh when he does. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> spray painted it all. Um, I'm, but there's, if there's anything that happens like that again, sir, then you definitely have a case there that you can go to Beagle. But otherwise, sadly, if you are getting paid and everything's up to date, I would just ignore them and just do what you can to make do what you can to make sure you get your money. That's what I would tell all of y'all, sadly, who are in this scenario, because there's nothing you can do. If your agency owner, even if you don't like them, even if you disagree with them, if they are responding to you, I don't even give a fuck about Brandon's tired, scary punk ass with that crackhead sitting next to him. But if you are someone that's in an agency, um, that the person is at least responding to you or giving you whatever or paying you up to date on time. There's nothing that right. I can do or you can do in general because they're following the policy. So it's like being at a job. You're kind of stuck at bitch with one resume, but the job is still doing what needs to be done and the bills are still getting paid. So my only, my life zone is to cancel this and get a whole new account. No, don't do that. Because then if you do that and say, for, Hey, the boy in the pick, Hi, love. Um, say, for instance, if you do that and Bigo catches you, they can have that agency owner that you go to have to pay. Like, Brandon had to pay money back to Bag Life because Ashley got scooped by him. So they froze him for a while and took money from him as well. He had to pay, which is why he's been doing bad now, because Ashley was under him when he was originally under Bag Life. So if you do something like that, say, for instance, you came to me and that's called poaching. And then if he did that, he sent it to Bigo. All the money you made for me, I would have to send back and they would transfer you back to him, sadly. No, because he just before he before he um kicked out his life, well he he didn't do it. One of his um one of his admins did it. Well he had, his exact words was "fuck you, you're 44, you're crying, get the fuck out of here." There's nothing, but there's nothing, but hey, that's a, that's a, listen, you you yeah. from Brooklyn and you seem hood. There's nothing I can do about that, but you seem like you would know what to do. But I'm just, I mean, well, I'm not even talking about street shit, so I'm talking about business, so. Okay. The only way I can get out this this guy's agency, I will have to cancel my account and get a whole new account. No, don't do that. That's what I'm telling you. You cannot do that, sir. If you do that, he can have you transferred back, and whoever you go to would have to pay that money. So how the hell can I? So how, so how how can I join another agency? You can't. I'm sorry, energetic. You can't. But good.